This is Catherine Fitzpatrick from Complete PE and today's PE activity is Ship Shape. So for this activity before you start, make sure again you've got a nice big space to work in. I don't want you to try this activity unless you have already completed balance time because we're going to use all of that learning now in this activity. So we already know that balances have to be held completely still and we have to extend and point our fingers and toes when we're holding them. We can use lots of different body parts to balance on, but this challenge is going to be about adding together three balances that are attached to different themes. The first balance you're going to create is a wide balance. Now when we create a wide balance, it just means stretching our body out as wide as we can make it. But could it be a high balance? Maybe you're going to make a wide balance low down on the floor. That's for you to think about. Next, you're going to make a curled balance. Now we could be curled in a number of different ways. This is probably going to be a lower balance, but how many different ways could you be curled? Finally, you're going to make a narrow balance, which is about stretching up and becoming long and thin. But again, am I going to do this high up? Am I going to do this low down? You're going to piece together your sequence. Keep trying to think of as many different ways that you could make wide, curled and narrow balances and put them together. Keep trying. Show somebody else, see what they think of it, and try and make it the best sequence you can. Give it a go.